Everyone say thank you to Roblox. Make sure you do it right now because we are not moving on with the video until you do. I don't even care if you're sitting with people right now. If you're surrounded by your family, you still better say thank you Roblox out loud at this very moment in time. Go ahead, my good friends. I'll give you a good second to do so. What is the exact reason we are thanking Roblox? You may be asking yourselves. Well, my initial idea was to make sure we appropriately thank Roblox for creating an incredible trailer, but then as I was thinking of what to title this video, it felt almost necessary that I am supposed to put an emoji at the end of it. And so now you can thank Roblox for giving you the second ever time that I have used an emoji in my video titles. On the 17th of April back in 2019 was when we got to see the Roblox official trailer of 2019 for the first ever time and I literally remember making a video about that one as well but for whatever the reason may be I just cannot find my own video for the life of me. It really doesn't matter all that much and it's certainly not that big of a deal. I just thought it would have been nice to be like hey I reacted to their last trailer and now here we are doing it again, but I guess not. So around two or three days ago is the very first time we got to take a look at the official Roblox trailer of 2020. And as made obvious from the title of this video, I actually really enjoyed the new trailer. I know, shock horror, that's probably the biggest surprise to come from this video. But the 2019 trailer was a good 30 seconds in duration, which seems ever so slightly disappointing when you realize that the 2020 trailer is a nice one minute and 30 seconds long. You know, before we get into watching and reacting to it together, I'm gonna mention that I did watch their new trailer before I started recording and oh my god, right off the bat the improvements are overwhelmingly evident and I absolutely loved the Roblox 2020 trailer. Hello there, please make sure to leave a like on this video and you'll become my favourite person in the whole entire world. And of course, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because we are almost halfway to 200 180,000 subscribers. Oh, I am so incredibly sorry to be pausing the recording already, but I'm already impressed with what they are showing me. Two incredible games that I have personally played a little bit longer than any other game on Roblox. The wonderful World Zero that I made a video on just a few days ago, and also the Wild West, which is real fun because it kind of reminds me of Red Dead Redemption. These transitions are very pleasing to the eye and I'm sure everyone will agree with me on that one. But I'm also really enjoying the amount of diversity between the different kinds of Roblox games here because we have this one game that literally looks like footage straight out of GTA 5 and then it switches to Jailbreak which is still an amazingly popular Roblox game but it tends to look a little bit more like the footage from a Roblox game. I hope everyone can see and understand what I'm talking about when I'm telling you how it's going from incredibly realistic games or showcases. Like, it's almost unbelievable that this is actually from Roblox, but then it cuts to a game that still looks incredible, but more believable, and you can actually tell it's from the platform of Roblox, because I feel like that truly captures the insanely vast variety of games that Roblox offers. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? These transitions are like if the word spectacular was morphed into a physical thing that everyone can see with their own two eyes. Whoever edited this video trailer did such a great job. Plus, I just have to mention the music right now because I, I don't know who it was, but whoever received the job of choosing the music to use in this trailer, you basically added the finishing touch onto making me love the trailer because I feel like without this specific specific music, it wouldn't be nearly as good as it actually is and it also, it almost makes me want to shed a tear for the fact that I more than likely can't keep the original music in for copyright reasons. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I'm noticing and recognizing a bunch of the games that they are showing in here, but there's also a fair amount of them that I have either never seen before or I've just never even heard of before, which means that they are also trying super hard to not only show off the deservingly popular games of Roblox, but also a lot of the smaller, less recognized games. And that is the best thing I think they could have done with this trailer. Like, I can already tell you after 40 seconds of the video that I have noted down at least two or three of the games shown that I have never heard of, but I must definitely want to try playing afterwards. <laughs> The exact sim levels of awe inspiring is being kept throughout this entire thing. There is like barely, what, 30 seconds of the video left and yet I can still see that these levels they have been upkeeping aren't gonna drop, not even in the slightest. <laughs> Does someone want to explain to me exactly how Roblox is managing to make Roblox look so insanely cool with one a simple 90 second trailer? Or rather, out of every word in the dictionary that we could use to describe what we just watched. The word simple certainly is the last one I would ever pick. Was that world zero again? Not that I'm complaining, I just think it's interesting how they are showing one game multiple times, although I suppose it would be the best way to do things because if you show two different angles or perspectives from the same game, it can actually end up looking like a completely different game. <laughs> Please, that was quite literally the best trailer that Roblox has ever created for themselves. And not a single soul is going to believe me, but at least 95% of the comments seem to agree with my opinion. The 2019 Roblox trailer got around 700,000 views in total and 20,000 likes with over 3,000 dislikes, whereas the 2020 Roblox trailer already has 500,000 views after just two days of existence along with 43,000 likes which is already double what the previous trailer has and just 1,000 dislikes. Probably the most similar comment that I keep seeing from multiple different people is that the trailer this time isn't shoving Arthur in our faces and I guess I could agree with that but I, I also didn't really notice if I'm being completely honest. Like I kept mentioning throughout watching that probably my favourite thing from the entire trailer was just how how well Roblox managed to showcase the incredibly large variety of games that the entire platform offers to its players. Like, take a look at Dungeon Quest because that game looks absolutely incredible, but you can obviously tell it's a game from Roblox. Versus taking a look at a place like a realistic showcase game, games like that make it so unbelievably hard to believe that it was created on Roblox using nothing but Roblox. Let's be real, a true trailer for a game or a trailer for the entire platform, that's not for us. Old existing players like you and me do not need a trailer because we already know what Roblox is about, we already love Roblox a great deal, we do not need a trailer to see what games are being offered to us because we play the game already. A trailer is obviously used to draw new players in, you know, people who haven't played Roblox before, people who have never even heard of Roblox before, people who have seen Roblox but never previously give it a chance for whatever their reason may be, or perhaps even people who once played Roblox but fell out of love with the platform. This trailer could and probably will quite easily draw everyone from those categories in and that is how you know they did a great job with this one. But anyway, I guess think of the new official Roblox trailer of the year 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.